Hello, friends. System image backups are meant for restoring an entire system. If you want to easily restore individual files, you should use another type of backup. But you don't have to restore an entire system image to get a few important files back. Click on the Start button and click on Control Panel from the list. Click on System and Security and then click on Backup and Restore. Now, click on Create a System Image from the left panel, select the drive where you want to create a restore, and then click on Next. Select the checkbox next to the drives for which you want to create the backup and click Next. Now click on Start Backup. The backup process will start. When the backup is created, you will be asked whether you want to create a system repair disk or not. Click No. Click Close when the backup is created. Close the window. Now, click on Computer on the desktop and go to the drive where you have created Windows System Image Backup. Click on the folder named Windows Image Backup and then the name of your PC. Click on the Backup folder and right-click on File. Now click on Properties from the menu. You can see that virtual hard disk files have been created. Click OK to close the dialog box and then close the window. Now click on the Start button, type Disk Management in the search box and press Enter. Disk Management window will open. Click Action from the menu bar in the Disk Management window. Select Attach VHD from the menu that appears. Click the Browse button. Locate the system image backup file, which will have the .vhd file extension, and click OK. System images are saved in this location. The mounted VHD system image will appear as a new drive letter in your computer window. Select Open Folder to view files when the autoplay dialog appears. You can browse the contents of your system image as if it were another drive on your computer. Close the window. Hope this was easy to follow. Thanks for watching.